Disclaimer! The following is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, you should know that the feelings of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not be accurately reflected here. That being said, the creator has no intention of offending anyone involved with the game's creation, its franchise, the game itself, or the people who like the game. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Ha ha! It is time to return to our world the three Keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. Oh, God damn it! already I'm getting pissed off. Why did you wait until now? Because Sora and Riku weren't trained? Well, whose fault was that? Mickey could have trained them, but no, he was off being mysterious or whatever. Yen Sid could have trained them, but no, he was off doing literally fuck all. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken. And so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. Funny, because Mickey, Sora, and Riku all came back no problem and with no assistance. Not to mention, as we'll see in the events of the game, Aqua had help from the outside and is still stuck in the realm of darkness for some reason. I saw her. In the realm of darkness. Saw her is the understatement of the century, you penis. Disney Interactive. Isn't it sad that they had to patch a freaking cutscene? Man, they cock the shit out of us. Uh, yeah, we already know what the name of the game is. Why didn't you just show the logo earlier? Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? Yeah, this is a good point. Why are the Birth by Sleep worlds in the realm of darkness? Terra, Ventus, and Aqua didn't fail in protecting the worlds. The worlds fell after Terranoid did all that science shit, right? There's no time in the realm of darkness. Fortunately, otherwise I'd have to make a design of an older Aqua, and we can't have one of the Birth by Sleep trio age when the others didn't, right? In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? That depends on your definition of realm of light. If it means the realm you used to live in, then yes, and you should know that time works the same. Oh god, why are you using flashbacks? It's glaringly obvious how different the models in Birth by Sleep were. Also, previously on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Here too. Everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people. What people? Literally, let's count them. Lady Tremaine, Anastasia, Drizella, Cinderella, the Prince, the Duke, and the Fairy Godmother. Hell, I could even throw in Jacques and Lucifer. We saw no one else, not even Gus. But the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. When the hell did you see any of that, Aqua? Were we playing different games? You know, for a realm of darkness, there appear to be many street lamps on, for whatever reason. Huh. And you said no time passed in the realm of darkness. If only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. What the fuck does that even mean? Is there time or isn't there? Why would a clock determine when a road collapses when there shouldn't even be a when? There's no time! So, what's the deal with Aqua wielding Ericus's Keyblade? I'm pretty sure she entered the Realm of Darkness with her own Keyblade, sending Terra back with it. So, she should have no Keyblade. And if she can just summon any Keyblade she's used, why not summon her own? Fortunately, you can make anything in the Kingdom Hearts universe work if you just whack it with your key. I knew it. You knew that a cog you didn't even know existed until like five seconds ago would warp time back in a place where time doesn't even exist? Okay. Not even memories are safe from the darkness. But apparently people are. How come all the buildings and structures in a world can be sent to the realm of darkness, but the people in those worlds whom, you know, built the structures don't? Where do the people who lived here go once the world was taken away? <laughs> At least they're not here, so they haven't fallen to darkness. So what, are people independent from their worlds? Because I don't remember anyone else from the Destiny Islands ending up in Traverse Town after the islands fell to darkness. I know I'm alone here. Yeah, why is that? I highly doubt no other Keyblade warriors have been trapped in the realm of darkness. 
Are they... phantoms? I don't care if they are. Or if I fall into the darkness. Uh, wasn't the whole point of following them not to fall to darkness so that you could save them? Okay, so 0.2 was the only time so far I've played a Kingdom Hearts game on Critical, and even then, I only died to Darkseid once, and it was an accident. Seriously, I even streamed it. I don't give a damn, Darkseid! Nope, still don't give a damn. Even on your own turf, you're still not a boss. Where are we? A world the darkness has consumed. It's enchanted dominion. Wait, how do you even know the world's name? Sure, you've been to it, but does every world just have a welcome sign that states their name? Aqua, listen. I promise this is me, but I'm not myself. How the hell does that work? I'm pretty sure that Terra's stuck in his own heart along with Xehanort. Or what used to be Terranort's heart. But considering that Terranort at this point in time is put into Xemnas and Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, does that mean that Terra finally fell to darkness? But Ansem is Terranort's heartless, meaning that Terra's heart should be stuck within Ansem, so... Wait, what? That means you're seeing me the way that you remember me. But your heart is just painting the picture that it so wants to see. The real me is lost in shadow. Then you're here. Trapped in the realm of darkness. No, you moron! Didn't you hear what he just said? Your heart is making him up! He's not really here! Then again, he also did say that it really was him, so... Wait, what? No. My heart has ties to the dark. That must be why we can talk. What the hell sense does that make? But Wouldn't you be a disembodied voice then? If you say Ven is there, then he's like me. An illusion created by your heart. I understand. You do? Are, are you, you sure? Ven are safe. <sighs> this place, is it the Chamber of Waking? Yes. Wait, but why would Terra Nord take over Terra's physical form? I thought the Terra's own heart- oh, fuck it. You don't know? My name- Aqua, get back! Terra! What the hell is going on?! How can Terra Nord take over your heart's physical form, but your heart manifests itself somewhere else, now restraining the heart that took over your own heart? Especially when said heart is now contained within a heartless, and your heart is supposed to be contained in that heart! This is some heartception! I messed up. Xehanort is part of me. Now he's using me! So you'll tell him where you hit Ben! But we literally just saw you lose control! Now you expect us to believe that was Terranort this whole time? Well, which is it? Aqua, are you okay? Miska Muska Mickey Mouse Ex Machina. Dwellers of Darkness. They're called Heartless! That's a good point. Where did the name Heartless come from? I mean, obviously it's because it's supposed to be people that lost their heart, but, I mean, who came up with the term? It's only when a world gets consumed that an entrance appears in the realm between. So, I waited for my chance to sneak in. From where? Disney Castle never fell to darkness. What world did you recklessly wait in just so you could slip in? You couldn't have just been waiting in the realm between. He'll be just fine. Yes. But what about Ven? He won't wake up unless I'm there with him. Why do you keep saying that? That's not even true and you know it! You were there the whole time at the end of Birth by Sleep and he showed no signs of ever waking up! Then let's... Well... Uh... I was so busy finding a way in that I didn't give a lot of thought to where there'd be a way out! Meaning you should have gotten stuck here too! Hell, Aqua's been roaming around for ten years and still hasn't found a way out! May our hearts be our guiding key! Man, you really stretch for that May the Force Be With You cliche, huh? May our hearts be our guiding key! There's a phrase no one's used in ages. Yeah, like, since the Keyblade War. We've literally heard no one ever use that phrase before or since. You'd think Ericus or Yen Sid would have at least said it at some point. Mickey had to have learned that phrase from his master, yeah? This is... where I met those children. So many worlds have been lost. And now they're trapped here in the dark. How come Destiny Islands is stuck during the day? Wasn't it nighttime when the world felt the darkness? What, do the world cycle through night and day normally? It's not really dark if it's daytime. And I met two boys I considered passing the Keyblade on to. But because Terra had already given one of them the power, I didn't. 
A, you had no way of knowing it was Terra that passed on the power, and B, if you wanted Sora to protect Riku like you said, you should have given him the power! What were the boys' names? They were... Sora and Riku. I see. We're getting warm. Mickey, you colossal asshole! Why? Why do you fixate on not telling anyone anything? Aqua is a motherfucking Keyblade Master! Why didn't you tell Aqua about Sora and Riku right away? For someone trying to save the world from falling to darkness, you sure are intent on keeping everyone in the dark. If this is where my friends first got the Keyblade, it also must be where we'll find its counterpart. Why the hell does that make any sense? They didn't get the Keyblade, they each got different ones. However, that does raise the question, why did Sora of all people get the Kingdom Key of Light? Many worlds fell to darkness before Destiny Islands. Why didn't anyone own the Kingdom Key of Light before? The Keyblade of Darkness has got to be here on the dark side of their world. Okay, so you know where the key is, but you still don't know where the door to darkness is. <sighs> oh, good. Fortunately, collecting the Kingdom Key of Darkness automatically teleported you to where you needed to go. So then, why didn't the Key of Light do the same for Sora? Yup, the door to Kingdom Hearts. Well, it's not the Kingdom Hearts you know. Uh, not exactly. Are you fucking joshing me? Still the heart There's the more than one Kingdom Hearts? It's not a complete Kingdom <sighs> We definitely... It's time. With this key, and Sora's in the Realm of Light, we're gonna close this door. Now, all we need is Riku. Sora. Ugh, and this right here is why I don't like the story. It invalidates blank points, the secret ending of Birth by Sleep. Remember when Aqua meets Ansem the Wise at the Dark Margin and he tells her about Sora saving the world? It's supposed to be this really great, albeit confusing, scene where Aqua first finds out about Sora, this boy she met so long ago being this great Keyblade-wielding hero. It's supposed to be the first time she hears anything regarding the Realm of Light. But all that is ruined by the fact that this story takes place a year before those events. Meaning that the fact that Ventus and Terra are still lost and Sora's been saving the world shouldn't be that shocking to her once Ansem tells her. Why does this story take place during the ending of Kingdom Hearts 1? Why didn't you make it Birth by Sleep Volume 2? The story doesn't give us any new information other than the fact that Mickey is a douche for not telling anyone anything about meeting up with Aqua in the Realm of Darkness. In Recoded, I could excuse the fact that Mickey's an idiot that just forgot about the events of Birth by Sleep because it had been 11 years, but this is one year before those events! How do you forget to tell Sora and Riku about it after this? It would have been a way better story and bridge to Kingdom Hearts 3 if you had Sora finally saving her instead of a story detailing shit that doesn't matter at this point! Aqua has literally no reason not to escape through the door to darkness with Sora. The Demon Tide is about to attack Riku? Uh, here's a crazy f***ing idea. Why not warn him and fight it all together? Aqua and Mickey already took one down. What, they can't do it again? Uh, Aqua! Go without me! They don't need to, you idiot! Just run away! <laughs> really? F***ing really? Really. You just had to explain why Mickey had his normal outfit at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 over anything else? That's the one fucking continuity error you couldn't afford to make. The battle for the Realm of Light is not won. Thanks to Terra and Mickey, I know what's at stake. I'm not afraid. I will face the long darkness. God damn it! How did Mickey and Riku find their way out in Chain of Memories? Sora and Riku found their way out in Kingdom Hearts 2. Hell, Ansem the Wise found his way out once. How's it been 11 years and Aqua hasn't been able to get out yet? In fact, Mickey and Riku stay in the fucking Realm of Darkness after they seal the door. Why didn't they go looking for Aqua again? All three of them could have come out together. And one day, I'll return to Terra and then. I am Master Aqua. And that's a promise. Wait, what's a promise? That you'll return to Terra and Ventus or that you're Master Aqua? You just worded that very strangely. Well, good thing you wanted to preserve continuity, assholes, because that's not what Mickey's shoes looked like in Kingdom Hearts 1. They did it. The world's being restored. But if Aqua was in Destiny Islands when the worlds were being restored, why didn't she go back to the Realm of Light along with the world? Doesn't this lead up to the whole Sora finding Ericus's Keyblade on Destiny Islands thing in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer we got, like, 15 years ago?
Nope. Nope, don't even try to reference that scene in Blank Points because this story ruins that scene completely. She sacrificed herself to save me? Why did you keep it from me for so long? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear this one. I had to respect her choice. What choice? All she said was go on without me. That doesn't necessarily mean never come back for me. What about us? You could have given us a choice. We could have gone and helped her. I know. Do not be rash, Riku. As Mickey told you clearly in his story, reaching the realm of darkness the first time was not a simple task. You shut the f*** up! Riku's been to the realm of darkness twice now, and both times he escaped! Notwithstanding, Mickey and Riku shut the door to darkness from the realm of darkness. I cannot stress enough the fact that there was no excuse not to look for Aqua after that. You weren't on a time limit anymore. The world had been saved. You couldn't spare some time to find a person you needed to rescue? And even if we had found a way back in... Which Sora and Riku regrettably, did! Regrettably, none of us possess the necessary means to get Aqua back out safely. What the f***? Necessary means! How the sh did Mickey and Riku get out then? In Chain of Memories, Riku just drifts away and is brought back with a damn card! Could he not use a Corridor of Darkness? Which he should still be able to use, by the way, because he can control the darkness! So I forbade Mickey from telling you. Let alone going after her. You? Ah! Why keep it secret? That much is obvious. If not you, then certainly Sora would have staged a reckless attempt at rescue. And they would have succeeded! They saved the world twice! Rescuing Aqua should have been just another Tuesday for them! Master, I came here because I wanted to help somehow. What can I do? What do you mean, what can you do? You're a freaking princess of heart that can wield the Keyblade. How are you not briefed on your purpose already? I have entrusted the wizard Merlin to oversee the training for our new Keyblade wielders, yourself and Lee. What, is Merlin a Keyblade master all of a sudden too? You get a Keyblade, and you get a Keyblade! Also, I know it's because you're retired or whatever, but why don't you teach Kyrie and Lee? Merlin specializes in magic and you were Mickey's master. You're literally not doing anything. Lee? He means Axel. No, what? he means Lee. Axel doesn't exist anymore. What you should have said is Axel's... Somebody, I guess? You were gone a long time. What were you doing? <laughs> Secret. No, 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 no. At least give us some substance as to what the hell you were doing at the end of Dream Drop Distance. Your Mark of Mastery exam was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. However, the darkness nearly took control of you, and your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. You son of a bitch! Sora is a self-taught Keyblade wielder that saved the world not once, but twice. I'm sorry, but explain to me the part where Riku went through the same exact adventure as Sora. Riku had to face one, count them, one version of Xehanort. Sora faced a true Organization 13, and you're telling me it's Sora's fault that the darkness took a hold of him? They were put in different situations. If not for Sora, Riku wouldn't even be around right now. Damn it, what is this, the goddamn Keyblade science fair where only one person can get the blue ribbon? Furthermore, Xehanort nearly made you his vessel, and in the oh. process, stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. Oh, of course he did! Good for him! Correct. <sighs> Sorrow! <laughs> Whatever. Happens all the time. Yes. What? Yes? Then you're aware that this has happened to Sora before? Why the shit won't you name a master then? But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power. The power of waking, which you fail to master during your exam. Fuck you! Boosh, the f***ing Keyblade does whatever it wants anyway, and while we're on the subject, no one taught Sora and Riku how to awaken hearts? How are they supposed to perfect the technique, you bearded penis? A true hero to whom you ought to pay a visit. Perhaps he can point you in the right direction. Who, Sora himself? Cause, wait, wait, yeah, no, he's done that before! Way more times than Hercules! You can't become a master without us! Huh? I never would have thought you'd fail that exam, Sora! Right?! It even sounds goofy, the smartest character in this universe! 
Face it. You're just a hot point. Put the three of us together make a whole pint. Pint and a half. Well, I mean, if Donald and Goofy are quarter pints, you'd be a whole pint. Looks like all the old highways are closed. What? Why the fuck this time? God damn it, we're gonna have gummy missions in Kingdom Hearts 3, aren't we? Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? I expected you now to make a liar out of me and show everyone that you're fit to be a Keyblade Master, you spiky-haired penis. Huh? May your heart be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen Sid always said that. Right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Oh, so I guess the adventures from Kingdom Hearts 2 onwards weren't all that important because he never says it. Ring a bell? <coughs> Maybe I just imagined it. Sure you did, Goofy. Sure you did. Can't wait to read a theory on Reddit about how Goofy is secretly the master of masters. Although... <laughs> I've got it! Sora, even when you've had no experience and your powers were stripped, you've always done the exact thing you're about to do. Why would hearing a phrase you've literally been putting into practice all these years suddenly put it into perspective for you? All right! Olympus Coliseum, here we come! For like the billionth time. Seriously, Nomura, there are dozens of Disney properties you haven't used yet, and we're still going back to Olympus Coliseum. <laughs> Secret. Hey guys, Char5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinnamon 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Seriously, that is a stupidly long title. I love this game's controls, and it's a great precursor to Kingdom Hearts 3. If we ever get it, that is. Story-wise, though, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> you guys should head on over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out Everything Wrong with Dream Drop Distance? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char 5 signing off. Notwithstanding, Miku and... Miku and Riki. <laughs> That's another game. <laughs> you! Ah! <laughs> There's so many things about the story that are infuriating <laughs> to me. Also, I know it's because you're retired or whatever, but why don't you teach Kyrie and Lee? Merly's. Merly. <laughs> How are they supposed to perfect the technique, you bearded penis? <laughs> I expected you. <laughs> I love this one.